an eye for an eye. It's the premise that corporal punishment was founded on ages ago. The first actual death penalty laws can be traced all the way back to as early as the 18th century BC. Death sentences have been carried out in a variety of gruesomely painful ways, including crucifixion, beheadings, burnings at the stake. But as the world evolved, so did corporal punishment. Here now is a look at the most common execution practices, some of which, by the way, are still being used throughout the world today. Stoning is one of the oldest forms of execution. This act requires no special apparatus to carry out the death sentence. The condemned criminal is buried up to their waist or shoulders in the ground. Then a crowd of people hurls rocks at the person's upper torso and head until they're killed. This is one of the only forms of execution where the punishment is actually carried out by members of the public rather than by executioners. There was a stoning, by the way, recorded as recently as last year in Iran. The guillotine came about in the early 1300s as a fast way to decapitate someone. The criminal is locked into place, face down with their neck hanging through a hole in the apparatus. The act was fast and simple. A heavy, sharp blade is drawn with a rope and then released. Sometimes the executioner would display the head to the crowd as confirmation of death. Another execution style is death by hanging, where a person meets their fate at the gallows. The most publicized recent hanging was that of former Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein. Interestingly, hanging is still an execution option in Washington and Delaware. And another form of execution that you may not think is still available in the U.S. is death by firing squad. Victims are strapped to a pole or placed in front of a wall. Typically, they're blindfolded, and five to ten professional sharpshooters stand and fire. Only one of the marksmen, however, has a live round of ammunition, and the rest have blanks. That way, no one actually knows who delivers the fatal shot. The most recent firing squad death in the U.S. was in 1996 in Utah, which, by the way, has since stopped those types of executions. One of the more popular forms of corporal punishment is electrocution, still performed in many southern states today. The person is killed in an electric chair by passing a jolt of 2,000 volts of electricity through their body. Usually, the jolt lasts for about 30 seconds. Electrocution can be problematic, however. Some victims have burst into flames, and in other cases, the jolt is not severe enough to cause death, resulting in a repeat of the act. Probably the most famous botched execution is that of Ethel Rosenberg, the American convicted of being a Russian spy. She had to be shocked three times before dying. California and Missouri still have the gas chamber as a method for execution. The condemned is strapped to a table and placed in a sealed chamber. Sodium cyanide combined with sulfuric acid creates the poisonous gas which is released into the chamber. The most common form of execution in the U.S. still, however, is lethal injection. 36 states kill prisoners this way. The condemned is put to sleep with a sedative and then injected with a lethal cocktail that causes death. This method typically takes about 10 minutes, but it has also been known to take repeated tries. Due to the constant outcry of death penalty opponents around the country, many states have done away with the death penalty, and other states presently have pending legislation to do the same. Now, all week long, we'll be examining executions from many different angles. We'll talk to family members of executed inmates, as well as family members of the victims. Tomorrow, we'll discuss the medical ethics behind this type of punishment. So keep it here on The Report, all week long for examining executions.